Elasticity is a measure of the responsiveness of one economic variable to a change in another. Price elasticity of demand, or PED, indicates the relationship between price and quantity demanded. Measuring PED helps a producer make more effective economic decisions. This equation is used to calculate PED. If PED equals 1, it is unitary. Less than 1 means inelastic. And greater than 1 means elastic. For example, if coffee bean prices increase from $1 a kilo to $1.20 and daily sales drop from 500 kilos to 450, PED is minus 10% over plus 20%, which gives an answer of minus 0 0.5, which is inelastic. The coffee grower can now estimate how revenue will be affected. Here, revenue increases from $500 to $540 because demand is inelastic. However, if PED is elastic at 2.0, demand would drop by 40% and revenue falls to $360. An inelastic PED means revenue increases when price increases. Elastic means revenue falls when price increases. PED is affected by Availability of substitutes. Choice increases PED. Need. Necessities are inelastic. Is the product strongly branded? Or habit forming, making consumers less responsive to price? The proportion of income spent. PED for a newspaper will be lower than for a computer. Producers would prefer an inelastic demand. PED on a linear demand curve will fall continuously, with the midpoint equaling 1. A perfectly elastic demand curve over its length is horizontal. A perfectly inelastic one is vertical. A unitary elastic curve where all price and quantity combinations yield identical revenue is called a rectangular hyperbola. PED is a useful tool to assess the impact of price changes, including those caused by exchange rate movements, given that they affect import and export prices. Of course, PED can change over time. To see more videos, go to www.economicsonline.co.uk